you can be a new teacher, you could be a seasoned teacher, and you can implement these practices in your classroom very easily. The first time I started Advanced Concepts, it was partially through the year already. So it's not something that you have to have an exact plan for from the very beginning. It's something you're inspired to do. And so I created Advanced Concepts for a Better Future, and I started working with teachers to develop and encourage them to be who they really are by taking their strengths and put, infusing that into the classroom. So when I first started doing it, um, I realized what my students' particular interests were, and I wanted to turn that into something that they were able to do on a daily basis. And it turned out wonderful. And that in itself bled over into making the general subjects much more interesting and giving my students the opportunity to get outside of those four walls and get out there in the community and meet community professionals and get hands on with education. That's really what it's all about. So. Again, for a teacher to start this is simple. You have to harness what you love to do, what your strengths are, what you're confident teaching, and you turn that into an advanced concept and you go for it. How to Break Free is about taking the standards, if it's created, you know, developed by your state or your county, whatever the standards of learning are that you follow, the Common Core, um, either way, taking what the actual goals are. What are the learning goals? We need to focus on that. Focus on what we're wanting our students to learn. Focus on what we want our students to learn with our advanced concept. And that's what we utilize to make our lesson plans, daily, weekly, monthly. So, you know, teachers are taught when they're going through their teacher program that you're supposed to have a regimented schedule. You know, students should know what to expect on a daily basis. I think that we need to start getting away from that. We need to realize that our students, our individuals, and the generation of today is very different from the generation of 5, 10, 20 years ago. We need to focus on what their individual needs are. Look at the classroom that we have on a yearly basis and create a classroom that's suitable for those students. So looking at the schedule for the day, it's not so much me focused on, I'm going to spend 25 minutes on math and I have to make sure I'm done within 35 minutes on science. That's not actually meeting a, a learning goal. You're not, you're not ensuring that you're teaching anything. So how do we ensure our students are actually learning and true knowledge is taking place? That's by focusing on the learning goals. So set out learning goals for your day, for your week, for the month. Don't set out a time schedule. 